All right, I'm gonna start out here because everyone is in the lobby. Um, hi, welcome to Japan. That's where we're at right now, if you're new. Um, we are getting ready to have the girls leave this morning to go to their performance over at the arena. Jason's gonna go along with a bunch of other adults and the coach and her husband. Um, I think Jason is going to get all the passes for all the rest of us adults and kids who were not going in the beginning, but um, and he'll bring all the passes back to us. But then all the girls, all the cheerleaders and the coaches are staying to perform or to practice their performance and um, and then they'll practice for a couple hours or an hour or two and then they have to get all of their makeup and hair pulled back up. Um, right now they have low ponies um, and they need high ponies for performance with, with makeup and the whole shebang. So they'll get ready and then they have some like press like we have photos that take with the whole team and like a whole bunch of stuff. I don't even know the whole plan, but it's gonna be quite the day. So Jason's gonna take you on his part of it with his phone. And then I'm gonna go shopping with Chelsea here in a little while. I haven't gotten ready all the way. I was hiding the messy bun on top. I haven't finished doing my hair. But um, he'll take you on that part of the day at the arena and kind of going through that part. I was like adamant, I was like, I'm not getting to like participate and understand what's going on on that end of it, so I need him to film it, so. Okay, Chelsea and I are being brave and going out on our own. Abby's with her friend and her mom's, oh, her friend's mom. The puppy shop is closed. A lot of things don't open up till 11. But the problem is that all the moms are telling me that Jason was wanting to stay because he's really helpful with the language. He has our money <laughs> and the directions to get back to, to get over to the arena. So I'm trying to text the moms, like tell him to turn his phone on to call me. I only have a debit card and it doesn't work at ATMs or we left the stadium, but I can text Anne. Ugh. Okay. All right, Jason just um, got back when, I don't know, half hour, 40 minutes ago from being with Ashley. He brought At the stadium. There's a little footage I got from the stadium. Yeah, I stuff. Yeah. Uh, and he just went and got some snacks. Oh, yeah, a little onigiri, a little protein bar. I figure I need some protein around here since I haven't eaten it. And then I've been looking for this. You knew about this? Oh, yeah, this drink. It was like, it's, it's, it tastes pretty good, but the name was always hilarious. Kaudu Pisu. <laughs> What it's called? Kadu Pisu water. Kadu Pisu? Yeah. Pisu. You keep pointing to it like I can read yeah, that. Yeah, that's what it means. Kadu Pisu. <laughs> <laughs> like, and like cow piss or whatever. So that's what I was called. We called it cow piss. So it's like a milky water? Or what is yeah, it? Yeah, like a coconut like a, milk or something? I honestly don't know what it is, but it tastes Coconuts good. don't piss. So I don't <laughs> Hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully this isn't cow piss. <laughs> All right, and Try it. Is this a sweet no, and that's a little uh, sushi roll. Is that or a little just yeah, seaweed roll? Uh, seaweed onigiri is just rice ball with like seaweed around it. Okay, I'm not sure what's in it. Hopefully something yummy. And a bread base. <laughs> I love the names. Yeah. Uh, Chelsea and I found that's a funny cool. name of a store today. Um, it's literally just a roll bread base. Okay, so we're gonna um, grab Chelsea and we're going over to the stadium. And Abby and her friend and her mom, friend's mom are going to meet us over there. Correct? You're making yeah, a lot of... Yeah, I do. All right, we're headed back over to the subway and then the train station. And one thing, a few things that we've picked up on. One, this is new for us because we didn't live here like Jason did. Right? I, but... I remember there being no trash cans. There's no trash cans on the street. And number one. Number two, you don't walk and eat and drink. It, like you don't see it and it doesn't happen and, you, and it's kind of a social like it's faux pas. Smart. That's why there is no trash cans because the faster you eat, the sidewalk you're gonna need to throw away your stuff. Right. So you would expect to like have a garbage can along the street here. Nope, there's not. So you carry your garbage everywhere you go. You also just don't drink or eat 
Nobody so, does any of that on the streets. Yeah. Unless and then on the down. on the sidewalks, if you can see, there's like in you know, a little yellow strip. That is for blind people, you said? Yeah. yeah. It has little extra grooves in it. Straight lines for, for their for little straight, stick. And then it turns to dots in intersections. Yeah. Um, but also it's kind of like a and I know it's not official, but there's a designation line of you walk on the left and not on the right. Because they drive on the other side of the road. Right. So it's just... And so I'm constantly like, what side do I go on? And I'm anyway. also dragging her over. I know. <laughs> I thought Chelsea was constantly like pushing me over to the right. That's why to the I'm... left side. Chelsea doesn't want to be rude. No. Well, and I also don't want to keep running into people. Anyway, like when we got McDonald's last night, I mean, they put the cups with that cup holder inside the bag. It tight. And then wrap it tight another, put it in, another bag. in another bag for you to carry so you do not eat and drink on the road. It's just, it doesn't happen. Six hundred thirty yen. Well, like in... Okay, we're going to calculate. Six thirty is four dollars and sixteen cents. We're so close. Get a bunch more change. A lot more change. Okay. Put it in. Gotta go. Oh, we have to run. Here, the or, mom.
couldn't stand tall So why didn't you, why didn't you call So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all
This wouldn't be appropriate today. We started with Chelsea, we're gonna end with Chelsea. Of course. Fantastic day at the arena. We're just, so you guys. <laughs> um, we are deliri deliriously tired. Clearly. It is, what time is it, like eight o'clock? I'll check. It's after eight. We've, 8 we've been at that arena for way too long, like eight plus hours. They did a little well, Ashley was gone for clinic longer. afterward. I don't know why we, anyway, it was, it was fun. that way. Such fun. Well, but we're tired, we're very hungry. <laughs> Ashley's back at the hotel with her friends because all the parents are That's getting the these pizzas. And Jason and Abby, Abby had a hard time the last two hours of um, the night. And so he promised her ramen on their way home. So they found a ramen place just down the street and they sat down by themselves <laughs> to have ramen. I will see if he films any of it, um, just to show you an authentic little hole in the wall ramen place. Um, but we're going to bed. We're eating, pasta, or we're eating pizza and we're gonna go to bed. Maybe I'll hop on in really quick and let you hear from Ashley and how her experience was, how what she really thought of it. Tiring. But I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Should we go get drinks really quick, Chels? It was like, I'm just too tired to talk about it, but. It was fun. You I have, have videos. Saw. It was so amazing. So much fun. It they fun did a really good job, days. and uh, proud of that little girl. But I'll get her take on it in just a second.